Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do part two of the book Chanted Creatures that I'm working on here. We're going to add some more color in here. And I'll just tell you the pencil names that I'm going to use when I pull them out. <laughs> so we're first going to go with this Holbein that I have out here and it's um, Luminous Opera is what this one's called. So I'll get you down a little closer to where I'm, we're going to work on the tail and the um, wing top here. Okay, so kind of in where we have the pink, or not the pink, the peachy color here. We're going to go in and add some of this just to brighten up. We're going to go over the purple and over the other colors and then darken as hard as we can, putting more pressure on it here. Just around the armhole or whatever you want to call the wing area here. <laughs> I'm going to put the paper back behind it just so I'm not putting pressure on it. Okay, and then just kind of blend it out. Then we're going to go down through all of the peachy ones and darken this side on them. Anywhere that there's a little peach, we're just going to put some of this pink. And if there isn't any, we'll add some. With the hot uh, color, bright um, kind of neon pink, Gonna add some iridescent shading to this little guy. And we'll go over most colors too. So if you just want to add a little in on the blues. Or the greens, you can do that. Can you see all the way down to the tail? I don't know. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to go up here and add some up on this side. And we're going to throw a little here on her chest. There we go. Maybe a little over here too. Kind of want the pink to come over and down.
Maybe we'll do this one over here, this butterfly. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we have some of the purple. Then I'm going to use the uh, Delft Blue, which is kind of a purpley color. And we're just going to deepen some of these purples. Put a little purple in the pink up here. So we'll make those a little longer. Let's see, oh, it's purple up here at some point. I have to do it. Darken it down here. We have a light purple somewhere, so blend that in. It's the Lyra uh, Light Violet. Take some of this dark purple. Yeah, it's a blue purple, but it'll work down in here.
just trying to find some spots to put it so it looks equal on both sides. So we got a lot of the darker under here and we need a little bit up here. This is the underside of the bird, so the shadows can be down here or the darker colors. But we want a little bit of it up here. And we're going to add some of it just on the edges here. Exaggerate some of these lines. We're going to connect those two. going to connect those two. We don't get those points as sharp as we want. We can always go in with an eraser and erase a little bit on the edges of those and get them down to a sharper point. Either that or turn your pencil so it has a sharper edge on it. Do that on all of these here. Up there, up there, whom, and here and there just to make her look a little um, more dressed up. And this is what I added up over here. We just put some extra lines in there. And there we go. I think that should be it with all that color. Darken this guy here a little. Okay, she stands out pretty well. Put a little of that up in here. And up in here. Bring out some of these. some little dots and stuff down there. Ok. 
Okay. I'm liking the way she's turning out. We're going to grab um, some of that light green we had. And which one was that? This is a Derwent Light Fast Turquoise Green. Just darken some of those areas. And then we're going to go out here. Okay, hold on. Okay, the flowers need a little bit more shading, so we're going to bring in the um, Lyra purple here for the purple ones. And just add it in the shadow areas here. Any other purple ones? Nope, I think that's it. And then we have these guys. I want to add a little bit of that pink too, but I think we're going to start off <coughs> with um, this one, which is doo -doo 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 -doo, the rose pink. Just going over it all very softly. Just brightens them up a little bit. I don't want them too bright. But I want them a little pinkier. And just a teeny bit of that hot pink. Just here and there. Not too much of it. Uh, the pink is um, Luminous Opera.
Okay. Got another one down here that doesn't have any color in it, so I'm going to put purple in it. This is the lilac, or the Lyra Light Violet. Just throwing that in the flower here. Okay. Dots are going to be probably some bling on there. I need to put just a little bit of a inking background on here. So if you'll hold on a moment. Okay, here we got uh, some tumble glass and some salty ocean. And if I feel like it, I'll add in a little bit of prized ribbon. I'm not sure. We're going to start with the lightest color. Boom, boom. I have a, whatever you call it, a Tim Holtz blender it on. There we go. That's the color we're going to put in here. And I'm just going to go right over all this pencil work I did. Start in a color that's similar and bring that out. Right in here. Okay, and we'll start up here. I like it coming out down here, so I'm just going to kind of do a diagonal here. Get a little blue in those flowers. I need to get a little darker around the birdie tummy. Really want to bring in some of this, but it's really dark. Gonna wipe most of that off before I go in here. Darken up this area. Get a little of that color in that flower. Okay. Put a little in here, wing here too. We and maybe just a little bit in her tummy area here. Okay. Now that we got the ink on, I'm going to spray it and then I'm going to have to let it dry because I want to go in with some Posca and I can't do uh, the water. On top of Posca, it will just wipe it off. See if that will do what it's supposed to do. First time working in this book, so... Add some count. It's probably going to soak right in. It's really nice paper. Okay. If you um, don't like the blue in the flowers, get the flowers wet. The ink is water-based and we'll take it right out. I don't mind it. I think it looks good. There we go. Now we have to wait, let that dry. And then I will be back.
Okay, we're mostly dry. Um, if you're wondering if it bled through, listen to the cars outside. It bled through a little bit because of how much water I put on in those particular areas, but it didn't go onto this paper, so it's still not dry in those spots. I put a lot of water there, a lot of water here, and down in this area. But for what I'm going to do, we can just uh, get moving <laughs> here. Get this page finished. And let's see. We're going to take... Uh, I know I have a black pencil out here somewhere. Here we go. You're black? Yes. Okay, we're going to just darken the bird a little bit around the edges where it's the darkest. So she stands out just a bit more. And we're going to take some black on these that I put out here, just so they look like they belonged. We're going to color these little, I don't know, eyes of the feathers, just on one side in the black, just to make them stand out also. I mean, they are colored on one side. I'm just coloring it in so they're darker. You could use a marker if you wanted to. Any black pen, pencil, whatever. Okay, we get all of those done. Then we're going to again sharpen this here with the black instead of the blue. I'm going to have to get you down because I need to get down there. Okay. So, let's get it so it doesn't just wiggle all over the place. There we go. i got to lock it so the pencil doesn't distract from where we're going. Okay. There. Here. Back here. Just going to go on one side of these feathers as close to the other feathers as we can get. Go on one side, getting a shadow under here. Just helps define those lines over. It's just a small little detail. Hello, Rory. You gonna come in and say hi? Here we go. We will lift you up and you can see the kitty. Come here. Oh, she doesn't like the camera. Here, let me unhook it. There she is. <laughs> Rory. Okay, back to the video. I'm gonna dot this thing again so we can lock it. I don't know if it's locked, because I don't want it to go out of focus like everything <laughs> was just out of focus. Okay, we're going to take it down the side here. I'm going to go in here and under this white line I had put in, and we're just going to go and put the black around here.
Chima Seabird. Get her chittering. Okay, the only thing I want to do is make her stand out, so that's why we're outlining all of this. The more the paper dries, the more little spots you're going to get in the ink. get colored very well but we're just gonna go around and do that to all of these leave the flowers alone let's see what color I should put a little purple in that one that's the Lyra, Lyra pencil <laughs> And we just add some purple in there. Okay, I'm gonna put a little mark on that one. Purple one didn't stand out too much. There we go. I think she stands out a little bit better. Then we're going to take a white mm, Posca that's out here somewhere too. Maybe, maybe I put it away. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> I showed you my desk. It's a mess. Do you know where it is, Rory? No? 
right here in front of me. Of course it is. Mm. I don't know if that's empty. Hope it wouldn't be, but it looks like it might be. Okay, let's get out the other one and see what we got in here that I can get out. Okay, we got that and we got that. I don't know if they'll work either. Um, Fabric Castell will, but it's only gonna lighten things. Oh, maybe it won't. That's a different pen. Okay, we're gonna put that away. Let's see if this one were right. <laughs> okay, it looks to seems to want to do something, so we're gonna. Is it not going to work again? <laughs> Sometimes these things are real finicky. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here while I have it working. And then some dots up here. These things are so finicky. I mean, I like it, but I don't seem to have much luck with them like I do with the Posca.
Okay, anyway, that is about what I'm going to be doing, is putting in some little dots everywhere if I can get it to work. And I mean, scribble, scribble, scribble is going to be a pain for you guys to watch. one because it's a pain for me to do. <laughs> scribble, scribble, scribble. I gotta have another Posca pen around here somewhere. Are you white? No, you're beige. What are you? You seem to be white. You work. Okay, now we're going to have a mess. Pushed on the pen and it decided it was going to um, spray out all over the place.
I'm just having too much fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> Adding little details. Get it all over me. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of um, stickles. What do I got here? Twinkle. I'm going to put it in all the little black blah 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 blobs. Whatever the black blah blobs are called. I'm not going to start there, I tell you that much. I'm going to start up here. <laughs> Let's see, we'll put some up here. Twinkle has got a little bit of the blue in it. I don't know why this is clogging up, because it's new. Butterflies. We'll do the leaves. Why not? <laughs> There we go. Yes. 
sorry if that thing is moving everything is getting a little messy here she put extra black dots in there too I will take a picture when it's dry at the end of the video it'll look a little different than it does now but you see all the sparkles on there it's going to be really pretty when it dries <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Take care, everyone. Bye now.